guys. So next we are going to see the various losses in the transformer. Clear? So last lecture I have told you about transformer. Load pon bodi abhi react pon gaya. Aare transformer load ila dabe abhi react pon gaya. So there are two losses. That is one is copper losses, right? Another one is what is a core loss. After transformer the phase diagram no load level come load level come abhi ila dabe pon gaya. Right? So next we are going to see transformer le yehna losses na abhi encounter pon gaya. Ila dabe pon gaya. Usually <coughs> there are four losses in the transformer, right? So first we are going to look at hysteresis losses. Apart from this, we have copper loss, and then we have dielectric loss, and then we have stray load losses, right? We will see all losses one by one. First, we will take hysteresis loss. Now, what do we mean by hysteresis loss? Now, all of you will know that transformer is a magnetic core, which is our design point, right? So now, all of you know we are using ferromagnetic and ferrimagnetic materials. Yes or no? So the ferromagnetic material, the magnetic field strength is very very high, right? And one more thing, ferromagnetic material, I mean, that is a inductor. Yes or no? Now, all of you know that inductor and capacitor never accept sudden changes, right? Now, the meaning is, now our transformer will have a AC supply with a sudden or quick mode. AC will issue a From, right in our ac supply we have two polarity one is positive another one is negative cycle right when you are transformer color positive cycle sudden inject panna bodu transformer enna avum abina it is started magnetizing right again when transformer is facing negative supply negative of cycle transformer color inject aagumbo enna avum abina again your transformer started demagnetizing But the thing is, transformer demagnetization not a good right? So first the transformer magnetizes out there. Negative cycle are both the more transformer demagnetizes out there. अब इन दोनों नेगेटिव साइकल जीरो आ गए हो नेगेटिव साइकल जीरो आ गए हो पॉइंट पे द मैग्नेटिक फोर्स विल बिकम जीरो राइट अब मैग्नेटिक फोर्स ऑफ द जीरो आ गए हो बिना व्हाट अबाउट योर मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी आदुम जीरो आ गए हो बट माय मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी डस नॉट जीरो व्हाई सर व्हाई बिकॉज़ ट्रांसफार्मर में कर मैग्नेटिक कोर डस नॉट एक्सेप्ट सडन चेंज राइट நீங்க சடனா வந்து பொலாரிட்டி வந்து ரிவர்ஸ் பண்றீங்க திரும்ப பாசிட்டிவ் ஆகுறீங்க திரும்ப நெகட்டிவ் ஆகுறீங்க சோ இந்த மாதிரி சடன் சடனா चेंजेस வரும்போது அத ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபார்மர் வந்து அக்செப்ட் பண்ணிடுது ரைட் சோ இப்போ என்ன நடக்கும் அப்படினா சோ டியூ in this positive and negative off cycles transformer la magnetization and demagnetization process undu therumba therumba nadandikite irukum right appadi nadandikirukum bodhu transformer undu continuous ah undu the changes undu accept pannikadhu so in the uh, magnetic flux flux sorry magnetic force undu namak zero aagum bodhu flux density value undu zero aayirukadhu therumba nee enna panna vendiya you have to increase it negative la nee boost panidha indha value vachu zero ah maatham mudiyum clear so adukapra therumba enna aagum negative cycle again positive cycle negative cycle positive cycle but also all the magnetization demagnetization process started there go and it will take some time so in the time la enna nadandhukku appadina over cycle yo transformer la transformer will lost some energy that energy is called hysteresis losses so usually hysteresis losses are be calculate pannu appadina from this hysteresis loop so this is the total area of our very hysteresis loop right so the area of our very hysteresis loop is going to be energy lost in the transformer so energy we know that the formula is power into time so time we know that is solved that is inversely proportional to frequency appo idu eduthu solla venna hysteresis loop that is hysteresis loss divided by frequency from this i can say hysteresis losses can also be calculated from the hysteresis loop that is area of our hysteresis loop into frequency of our very hysteresis cycle per second it's rendi multiply panninga appadina you will get the hysteresis loss don't forget this formula is very very important ena sometimes exam la enna panniranga appadina area of our very hysteresis loop apply kodutidho frequency kodutidho you are requested to find out the hysteresis loss that is the direct way of finding the hysteresis loss clear okay so the energy loss step around the during magnetization and demagnetization of hysteresis curve right now the hysteresis loss is calculated from the we have standard formula universally so here that is called hysteresis losses can be written as steinman constant theta into b max in the power x that is called <coughs> that is x with the steinman's exponent right its value is lies in 1.5 to 2.5 next up f அப்படிங்கிறது frequency of the magnetic reversal per second right so positive la poite negative reverse aite illaya that is frequency offered by the magnetic reversal per second that is f whereas v denotes the volume offered by the magnetic material right so is uh, z அப்படிங்கிறது என்ன சார் eta அப்படிங்கிறது என்ன steinman's hysteresis coefficient அப்படி சொல்லலாம் or steinman constant right so இது எல்லாம் வந்து depends on the material என்ன material நீங்க யூஸ் பண்றீங்களோ அத பொறுத்து இந்த steinman constant வந்து வேரி ஆகும் ஆனா இது எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படினா material-ல பொறுத்து வேரி ஆகும் அந்த அந்த material வந்து value வந்து constant That is fixed. And one more thing, the Steinman's exponent is clear. Exponent is clear. That term. Other value is for our ferromagnetic material. This value is 1.6. That is fixed. Since we know, number transformer we design one row with the help of ferromagnetic material. So the value of x is going to be 1.6. Clear. So this is very very important. Next term. What we know, flux offered by the transformer 
is directly proportional to V by F. Is that what we are going to talk about? So, flexome directly proportional to what? Magnetic flux density. Flexome magnetic flux density is directly proportional to V by F. Magnetic flux density will be directly proportional to V by F. Right? Now, let us see, based on the various in the V by F, how we are facing the changes in the hysteresis losses. Right? Let me take the equation once again. So, if we by F constant are going to be now, what are the changes that we are facing in the hysteresis? Let us see. For hysteresis losses, we are going to see hysteresis losses are directly proportional to C. Remember, statement constant is fixed up. Volume fixed up, right? It doesn't even change up. Our objective is that is directly proportional to B max cube. I can substitute V by F in the power for our ferromagnetic material. X is going to be 1.6 into frequency. Clear? Now case number one. When the value of V by F is going to be constant. अगर तू वोल्टेज चलो वेरी कर रहा हो, फ्रीक्वेंसी चलो वेरी कर रहा हो, अगर हम रेडिमेंट नोट रहे रेश्यो देखो, वो तो रिसर्वेंट लोग आर वैल्यू वो तो कांस्टेंट आर का क्लियर, तो आंधा माले वाले केसेस बन दिच्छा बिना, तारीस बी बाय एफ कांस्टेंट आर बिना बिना, इससे से स्लास विल बिकम डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू फ्रीक्वेंसी क्लियर व्हाई v by f अंदर कांस्टेंट आए सर अपनी v a इन f यू कांस्टेंट आए सर ना इधर तो वो कांस्टेंट आए डों इन सच ए केस इस वजह से सास यार बिगड़ पड़ी वेरी आगे में बिना फ्रीक्वेंसी के डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू ऑल डों सेकेंड केस सपोज v इस कांस्टेंट Right? So, what is the fix for it? Frequency is not very funny. In that case, in such a case, SSS classes will be directly proportional to Since V is constant, so when you remove it, 1 divided by F power 1.6 into F. In the 1.6, the marriage value is minus 1.6. In the power of 1, you can add it to the result and that is become minus 0.6. Clear? Or I can say, is this is not become inversely proportional to frequency when your voltage is fixed. Don't forget, this term also very very important, right? So that is second case. Third case, so in the case, the first case, V by F only constant. Second case, V only constant. Clear? Third case, F is constant. So frequency one in constant of expanding, in such a case, what will happen? Again, this is this will become directly proportional to, since F is constant, right? So we are not changing the area of frequency. Up and down, it is varying with respect to voltage, right? So that is how we are bringing the various terms for our hysteresis class. So in the LMA mind of expanding, these all terms are very, very important. So question is very important, what is the end term of the very important of being the part of it? You can proceed further, clear? So that is all about hysteresis classes. I hope you all understand. Where are the doubts in the video? in the comment section. So thanks for watching our videos. Thank you all.